time is 10 20 a.m good morning the news headline like kenya ghana connived with Buhari regime arrested 107 biafran agitators 82 missing ipop the indigenous people of biafra has accused the ghanaian government of conniving with its counterparts in nigeria to hound its members residing in ghana according to ipop Ghana arrested 107 Nigerians of Igbo extraction and repatriated 25 of them to Nigeria, while the rest could not be accounted for. The Inadekanun-led group, however, urged the president of Ghana, Nana Addo, to turn a new leaf by becoming a friend of IPOB and Biafra agitators in his country, or face the music. These statements were contained in a statement by the media and publicity secretary of the group, Ima Powerful, obtained by Sahara reporters on Wednesday. It partly read, the attention of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by our great leader, Mazi Nandekanu, has been drawn to the arrest, intimidation, harassment, and incessant torture and humiliation of Biafrans living in, in Ghana by Ghana government and its security agencies. It's quite unfortunate that the government of Ghana has made itself a willing accomplice to the oppressive Fulani controlled Nigerian government to suppress the agitation for Biafra restoration, but Biafra is irrepressible no matter how hard the enemies try. We still remember the role played by Ghana during the genocidal war unleashed on the good people of Biafra between 1967 and 1970. IPOP has not forgotten how Ghana refused to help the children of Biafra during that war of annihilation by the Nigerian government supported by British authorities in their botched bid to annihilate Biafra from the surface of the earth. It is shameful and unfortunate that the Ghana government and our security operatives could arrest Biafrans living in their country. About 107 people in their monthly meeting could detain and deport 25 people of them to Nigeria and others were nowhere to be found. Our family in Ghana are still looking for the whereabouts of them. We are telling the good people of Ghana to look for our people living in Ghana and produce them to the Biafran government or they are ready to face the consequences. And these are the words of uh, the IPOP to the B to Ghana government who have been alleged, as well as Kenya, to be working with Nigerian government, you know, uh, to uh, repatriate those IPOP members living in the respective countries and then whereby some were actually repatriated, why they could actually not find some others. Remember that sometimes in the, 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 Ghana, the Ghana people traders are actually also be closing down shops of Nigeria. Sometimes in 2020, uh, the, it was said that the federal government appears to be under fresh pressure to reopen Nigerian land borders short August last uh, year after it emerged that the closure was one of the reasons Ghana is moving against Nigerian traders in the country. The federal government said it took the decision due to ECOWAS country's disregard of trade protocols leading to smuggling and illicit arms trade, which were arming the Nigerian economy. And a top government official uh, told Sunday Vanguard as a then that uh, President Muhammad Buhari was not averse to reopening the borders, especially in the wake of recent action against Nigerian tra traders in Ghana. Nigerian economists also waited, uh, weighed in, saying it is high time government reviewed the policy, maintaining that the continued border closure negates the spirit and intent of Africa continental free trade area, stalked inflation and provoked retaliatory actions from our West African neighbors. Uh, some weeks then, uh, shops belonging to Nigerian traders in Ghana were locked up by authorities who demanded cash payments of $1 million before their shop would be uh, reopened. And at weekend, it was learned that, the, that more Nigerian shops in Ghana were shot. Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC Act of 2013, has governed investment in all sectors of the economy, and it outlined that uh, the country investment framework, which requires foreign investors to satisfy a minimum capital requirement, and the minimum capital required for a foreign investor's for the investor is $200,000 in a joint venture with local partners or $500,000 for enterprises only owned uh, by foreign investors. 
Apparently, this law was made at the instance of indigenous traders who complained that Nigerians were unfairly dominating small-scale trading in Ghana. And the acting vice president of Ghana Union of Traders Association, Clement Boateng, said that the Ghana Union of Traders Association has, over the years, complained to the authorities to try as much as possible to enforce the GIPC law so that they can sanitize, sanitize the retail industry. It is not that we are driving foreigners away, they said. However, the president of the Nigerian Union Traders in Ghana said over 160 Nigerian shops remain closed at cycle area near Accra, Ghana alone, despite government negotiations. According to our One Energy, most of our members do not have the GIPC registration because it requires $1 million cash or equity, and they gave us 14 days within which to regularize, he said. They are citing the closure of Nigerian borders and many other things as the reason for the enforcement. I also think it is because of the election that is fast approaching. The government wants to use it as a campaign promise fulfilled, and as we speak now, the Ghanaian authorities are still closing the shops of Nigerian traders in Kumasi, Ashanti region of Ghana, he said. And a top government official who spoke to Sunday, regard, uh, Sunday Vanguard on the Ghanaian traders' impact one of the weekends last year said that the borders cannot be closed forever, that the government is considering reopening the borders, but there are certain things that must be put in place. And now, now uh, this year, uh, it was said again that the Ghana Union of Traders has served another notice, you know, that they will still start closing all shops belonging to the foreigners, especially Nigerians, because after the last year, you know, they had resolved it in between and opened. But here they are again saying, uh, through their general secretary, Alpha A. Shaban, who was speaking as, uh, on the uh, front line on the Rainbow Radio 87.5 FM, where he said that authorities have refused to implement uh, the law that we are talking about, and he said that members are becoming impatient and demanding immediate action. You know, they fear that the Nigerians are dominating their small-scale business, is actually you know, provoking most of the Ghanaians, and according to him, he said, what broke the camel's back was that the Nigerian Union of Traders Association in, uh, Association in Ghana has completely rejected the special dispensation offered to them by the government of Ghana after a series of diplomatic efforts by the Ghana and the Nigerian uh, government, you know, that they should pay one uh, million uh, dollars, you know, within uh, or one million dollars, you know, to regularize whatever they call it, you know, you know, that because of one GIPC registration, you understand. So now the uh, the new tag said that uh, if the government do not find uh, a lasting solution to this, you know, by uh, resuming their operations without any delay, you know, they, that very soon they will lose their temper and then they cannot assure what will happen out of their frustration. Therefore, with all this being said, uh, the IPOP has said that the uh, Ghana government, led by Nana Ado, should stop embarking on this dangerous mission. And they have come to realize that Ghana and Kenya have decided to make themselves enemies of Biafra and, and just to please the oppressive Nigerian government for selfish gains. Therefore, they are to stop this or face the wrath of IPOP. Thanks for listening. Good morning.